program at the Institute for American Values, my old job. I'm the author of The Case for Marriage, our friend Maggie Gallagher. Maggie, hey, how are you? Thank you for coming, as always. He is the driving force behind the band, Better Than Ezra. Their new CD is closer. I listened to it today. This is really good stuff. You guys have hit your stride in stores everywhere. Kevin Griffin, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, you have. Good Very you. good. Ah, oh, Hedwig is here. I tell you, I have been a fan. Have you ever seen Hedwig? I have. Hedwig, Maggie? Oh, my God. Since... I know. It's not a mainstream thing, but Hedwig, I gotta say, Roger Daltrey's on the show tomorrow. Tommy, the great rock opera, but this, no backseat to Tommy. Hedwig is a movie now, and he is the talented writer, director, and star of the big screen version of it. Ladies and gentlemen, whether you like it or not, John Cameron Mitchell is right here. How are you, nice to meet you. Pleasure. You know I'm a big fan. And he is the pioneer of punk and a rock archaeologist, whatever that is, the ever reserved John Lydon, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I feel Mr. Rotten, how are you? Ugly as you do. Okay. All right, Mike, you don't have your book here today. I know. Oh, that. we stopped selling that. Thing. Okay. But now, what Good. is your title there? You are the head of the What Happened? Actually, I'm now an affiliate scholar at the Institute for American Values. The Institute for what? American values. American values. American. Because you're the person who always argues, and so eloquently, for marriage. And I'm not against marriage. Yes, you are. <laughs> no, no. I'm just. <laughs> yes, you are. Well, unless you're married no, no, no. to yourself. For myself. But I mean, right, but right. it works for some people. Yeah. Okay. But I've been don't, reading. Don't a, close the door. Maybe you'll meet the right you're girl. You're right, exactly. No, at some point I'll yeah, have don't to. Don't institutionalize it either. So you put down rules and regulations for everyone, and that is not right. I don't that's not about values, it's about dictation. <laughs> well, marriage, that's a personal choice issue. Well, Why no, are you I know we should be forced to get married, that's true. I know, but you... Okay. And he, not even Bill, but I do think that if not the, even. the right girl comes along, it's a very good thing. That's none of your business. Yeah, you know... Uh, <laughs> I know, but see, for right some of us, it's not about the right girl, it's about the right institution. Anyway, the reason I brought this up... <laughs> what and is I'm the glad right institution for you, Divorce. Bill? <laughs> That's what I was bringing up. You know that people are having around the country now divorce ceremonies. I think this is a wonderful thing. That, uh, that yeah. people are... are, are and, I knew, and I knew Bill. this would make your head explode. Look, and Irish, that's why I'm bringing Irish it up. We celebrate death wakes, right? I'm a paddy. We, I celebrated my mother's death. So why not a divorce? We celebrate everything. In the, every transition in life with a videotape. <laughs> you know, right. whether it's a bar mitzvah, a birth, a wedding. And now people are doing it. They're having these called divorce ceremonies. I think it's great. Yeah. They pay tribute to the years they had together. And they say, basically, we're going to leave as friends. Instead of having a fist fight in the courthouse parking lot, they're having a divorce ceremony. Good idea. Well, so long I as think... they're happy, that's fine. Yeah, but no, to I... fake happiness that would be a rather miserable state of affairs it, it Bill, Bill, the truth is why not be angry if you really are god <laughs> say anger is an energy i agree i agree Look, two or three people are having divorce ceremonies and half of them are writing books to profit from it the reality is is that you know when you when you You're divorce profiting someone, off marriage when you oh, i wish <laughs> it, it, your book you is <laughs> oh, it's out of print if oh, you it's... if you divorce someone you're saying like yeah. i don't love you anymore i'm not going to be responsible for it anymore you're not part of my family anymore exactly and there's, true. exactly not true. there's not a very nice way to do that and i think the theory it's fine if you want to do it it's not a problem but the theory that if we they just have, have a, these these if we just have these ceremonies that somehow the sting have of having the person who promised to love you the, until death do us part come and say i'm sorry i've so changed my mind i don't know <laughs> I'm going to say I agree with you, Maggie, but, but the, the notion of a ceremony where people are going to just you know, slap each other on the back and go their separate ways is kind of discounting basic human emotion. There's too much, too much anger involved in it. Not I can't see you're, not also, you're also no. kind of speaking for yourself. I mean, marriage I, in America right. is a very frivolous state of affairs anyway. That's what <laughs> E! Entertainment and Extra and all those programs consistently but tell a, us. But isn't a wedding really more for the family often and for the friends? The to, woman! And what the man <laughs> ever wanted to go through that whole Michigas? Here we go. I have friends that, you know, I'm gay and I have a lot of friends who want to get married who are both guys, you know, and they want the ritual or at least the... Oh, but those are guys wanting to be women, so... 
this. <laughs> <laughs> that it, yes. I, no, it's slap my wrist. No, no, oh, Matthew marries a woman mean. once a wedding. Wait. <laughs> I'm going to tell Danny Fields you said Wait that. a second. Let's get real here. That's what he said is so not true. Oh, the, Gays don't want to be women? What, what are you talking I mean, I... <laughs> Some kind of them. Of generalization. You've is been that? dressing up as a woman Actually, for every night of your life for the last three years. I don't want to be a woman. It's like I like I like dressing he up as a woman a sometimes. But you know that most sex changes are actually straight people. Wait a second. Like, yeah. They are I, after look. the operation. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they're lesbians. Like, Ever since I ever since I did Hedvig, I've met a lot of sex changes. And I'm not, I don't want to be a sex change or anything. No. But the most people, I found out, just I didn't know, that, like, you know how they say, you know, the Ed Wood syndrome, like most guys right. who are transvestites are straight just because there's more straight people. And the same percentage of straight and gay want to dress up in the opposite sex. Hmm. Actually, more people who want to change their sex, gender dysphoria, which is just a way of, you know, a, feeling like you're the other sex, born in the wrong body, most sex changes are straight people, so that I, I met a lot of guys who become lesbians, in effect. <laughs> but most of my, most of my guy friends can say yeah, I've been trying to meet people like that. And then that. they want to have sex <laughs> with them. They're always straight. They're um, straight, and then they want, all they want to do is change their sex, but they still like women. They want to be a woman and like women. Well, exactly. only in America. They want to be a lesbian. Only in America. Wow. There's your family values. I'd love to be. <laughs> I'd love to be trapped inside a lesbian's body, wouldn't you? <laughs> have done but, several times. Oh, uh, but you have. <laughs> um, Got stuck. It was terrible. But uh, getting. Like getting cat, back to the thread the where we were yeah, but getting to was what, was what I was saying. Oh, marriage about women. Okay. Yeah, women want the wedding ceremony. Every it's guy true. was it's like, true. oh my God, we're going through this. And sure, months. a lot of gay guys, you know, have the fem, you know, the feminine energy, and they want the ritual and they want the friends to accept yeah. their union. Gay guys we, have feminine energy. Could you agree to that, well, sir? I yes. Mean, a lot of them do. Yeah, and a lot, whatever. It's okay. Like kind of. It's this like, is not a great bombshell of news. We're revealing exactly. here. Exactly. But I'm just saying, I'm talking about the ritual itself. I've noticed something. You know, ever since we embarked on this path towards gender androgyny, there are more and more, I hear more and more tales well, of straight guys, <laughs> straight guys who, like, want to help pick out the China pattern. Don't you think that's a, that's well, really well, kind I of awesome? Say, I'm the getting the married. Roman Empire. I mean, I I get, I'm getting married on October 6th. You're wait, wait. getting married. Getting married. Wait. Congratulations. A brave man. No, but, but, you know... <laughs> I, 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 must I don't admit, see any men applaud. <laughs> I really I, I, don't. I, I, must, I, I must admit that, you know, uh, you know uh, my fiancé is definitely more into the, the, the logistics. But, you know, I've been down getting it. We've got a Casey and the Sunshine cover band playing. There's a little side of code. <laughs> Guy picks really? the band. That's my job. And I'm, I'm kind of down with that. And we're going to have a good time. It's going to be at this kind of little Cajun yeah. B&B. You're you know, just now. trying to stay out of the doghouse like every no, man. No, yes. Hey, look, yes, you Bill, are. Bill, you only, just don't want to piss her off. There's only so many nights you can you can hang out in South Beach in the VIP room. You know, so. uh, uh, who are you but speaking the, of? No, the, no, 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 uh, no, no. Guys no. Get, no, no, there's a well. difference. Guys want to get married, but he's saying guys don't really care about the wedding. That's no, a different they, thing. Right. Oh, Go, right. Well, a lot of guys want to no, get married, right? No, you no guy, that. no. Oh, that's no, I don't right. agree to that either. <laughs> Not a lot of guys want to get married. So, well, how yes, come there is so a, many do for is every a, woman who marries. Because it's man. their best option. It's their best option. Men are Listen. only as loyal as their options. If they had options, they wouldn't. Uh, well, I don't know. Not when all of us. I've been committed for 22 years to women. Yes, you've been committed love. way before that. <laughs> for different reasons and different <laughs> subjects, but let's focus. That's me and my personal choice. Right. And I would not dictate that for everyone because we are not all the same. We should not be, otherwise life would be incredibly tedious and would dull. You consider and this getting is why married? I do not advocate any rules or regulations or stipulations whatsoever for anyone on anything. Okay. We gotta take a break, we'll be right back. President Bush addressed the nation tonight Wow, pledging limited support for federally funded stem cell research and thus angering conservatives who say these embryos are really just very young, young uh, human beings. And they may be right, because uh, today Gary Condit asked one out. So the... <laughs>
hardest place on earth to legalize same-sex marriages, but they forgot one thing. They have no word for it. <laughs> well, today they asked the German people to come up with a word because there's no German word for a gay marriage. Although, uh, when two lesbians over there <laughs> get a place together, it is called a Munchausen. That's <laughs>